Today, an MTA board rubber stamped a proposal to charge stiff fees to enter Manhattan's central business district. It's setting up a four month public comment period where there's sure to be lots of, as Marsha Kramer would put it, howling from those opposing congesting pricing. She joins us now with more on the howling. Marsha. There'll be a lot of howling, <laughs> let me oh tell gosh. you. So, um, exemptions aren't the only problem facing the MTA. There's also the very real possibility that those who don't get them will find a way to avoid the tolls anyway. I asked MTA Chair General Lieber about estimates from transportation expert Sam Schwartz about what amounts to roadway turnstile jumping. In the past week, Sam Schwartz, who I know you know, has estimated that about up to 20% of the tolls will be um, uncollectible, either because people will alter their plates, they'll use those plastic things so you can't read it, or they'll get bogus plates. How do you plan to deal with that? Well, well first of all, we can't let it. it, it that, that would delegitimize the credibility of this effort. For MTA head Jano Lieber and the MTA board, it may be one of the biggest headaches of congestion pricing. How do you stop toll cheats? And while he didn't have an exact plan, he had a promise. We're going to go after it hard and make sure that people are not getting away with that because the credibility of the whole effort is, is at stake. The tow plan proposed by the Traffic Mobility Review Board was adopted in its entirety by a vote of 9 to 1. The motion passes. The board applauding the work of the mobility panel that proposed a series of tolls to enter the central business district below 60th Street. $15 for cars, $7.50 for motorcycles, $24 for small trucks, $36 for big trucks. I cannot vote for it. The lone holdout was David Mack of Nassau County, who reflected the concern of commuters on both sides of the Hudson about affordability in these tough economic times. But afterwards, board member John Samuelson, head of the Transport Workers Union, voiced numerous concerns, like the need for additional servers to accommodate up to 110,000 people who were expected to stop driving and take mass transit. He also wanted more exemptions. To the chagrin of many people in that room, MTA workers and every other government worker that's compelled to work in that zone, compelled by the city to fulfill the obligations of the city, should be exempted from it if there's no transit option. Board members also sought exemptions for people going to medical appointments, taking yellow taxis, and school buses. School buses seem to have the best chance of winning an exemption. We do want to exempt school buses. That's work that needs to take place. Now, the board would like to start charging the congestion fee in the spring, but it's being held up by two suits filed by New Jersey officials. They say that the suits are already holding up much needed capital projects. Dick and Dana? And you know, I have to say, when you said suits, I said lawsuits or people in suits. People in Jersey suits. I thought the same <laughs> thing. Everybody's actually. unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless. Well played. Thank Thanks. you Thanks, for everything.